Okay, so welcome back to another discussion in the RME um, online review. So at this uh, moment, we will be solving some sample problems. These problems are um, pattern and are similar to the recent problems, which uh, which as um, some of the uh, former um, examiners have said that these problems um, uh, come out on the exam so we will try to solve this one we will try to apply the formulas and the concepts that we will learn in our previous videos and for this one i will be using a uh, casio 570 uh, es calculator so this is in emulated it is put in my laptop so it is a program so as of now there is no memorandum uh, given by uh, prc that this type of calculator is prohibited to be used during the exam so i am advising um, I, I advising uh, you to purchase this one if you have time then you can also have the um, the uh, some of the low-end calculators as long as it is scientific okay so before we go any further to the to answering the formula so i would just like to um, uh, remind you or to review you about uh, certain concepts of the um, of uh, basic mathematics for example uh, scientific notations um, fractions and decimals and also the um, conversion of units so um, at, at this moment I will just uh, highlight the the most commonly used um, for example the SI prefixes no? so I would just like to highlight those one especially when you say uh, micro so this is the symbol for micro it's just a little lag on my um, writing okay so let's just use this eraser over here okay so micro so that is a symbol for micro so this is uh, equivalent to 1 times 10 to the power of negative 6 so um, Basically, if you have 3 micro farad, okay, uh, let's just find another unit for that. 3 micro volt. So, meaning that is 3 times 1 times 10 to the power of negative 6 volts. So, or to simplify this one so you only need to multiply 3 to the 1 so that is how multiplication works you will not distribute this one because there is no such thing as distributive property of multiplication if the involves uh, if, if the term involved are all multiplied to each other so that is 3 times the power of negative 6 volts so that is the value of a micro so for example you have 3 millivolts so milli that is 10 to the power of negative 3 so this will become 3 times 10 to the power of negative 3 volts but if you want to have this one in the decimal form because this is a scientific notation so scientific notation so that is scientific notation or we just uh, type this one so that it will be an, a much clearer per, uh, scientific notation okay so if you want this one to be to be a decimal so all you need to do is to write the number here so that is 3 then if that is a whole number that 3 is on the left side here at the three the point the decimal point is on the left, the left side here uh, left side uh, right side okay right side here then that is negative three so you move three decimal places so the number of 
um, places that you are going to move is equivalent to the exponent of the 10. So, if that is negative, so that is moving to the left. If that is positive, that is moving to the right. So, 1, 2, 3. And for every place that is blank, you will ha add 0. And your decimal point is now here. So, 3 times to the power of negative 3 is equal to 0. Then a decimal point. Then you have 0, 0, 3 volts. So it is very useful in um, solving problems involving smaller currents and also they have also the kilo, the um, giga, the mega. So it is very useful. But to make this discussion, to make this topic um, very clear to you, so we will be having a separate video about this in which we are going to discuss also the techniques on how to translate this into the calculator. Okay, so without, without much further ado, we will be going to the first problem. Okay, so a battery can deliver 10 joules of energy to move 5 column of charge. Okay, so what is the potential difference um, on, this, uh, on the battery? So what is the potential difference on the battery? Okay. So we have here our solution. So let's write our solution. Okay. So we have the given. So we have 10 joules of energy. So that will be our work, which is 10 joules. Then our charge, Q, that is 5 columns okay so we are going to find the potential difference or the voltage so we know that voltage from our previous video so voltage is um, defined as or the potential difference is defined as the work done of mo for moving charge so that is the uh, number of joule per column. So we will have the formula as W, so that is the work done over the charge. So you will have, so sub, just substitute the given, so we have 10 joule over 5 column. So this is equal to 2, the unit for potential difference is volts and that is now your answer a very easy problem so you can also have the reverse of this one so you could uh, for example the problem will give you the potential difference and the column and you'll be finding the um, the work then the problem will also give the work and the potential difference I will be finding the a number of charge or the number of charge moved by that work and that potential difference so you will just only need to remember this formula okay. this formula so if for an instance you are going to be requ required to find the number of charge so the formula will be by using algebra so this will be transfer to the other side and this will then this volt or the V will replace the charge so your formula will become q is equal to w over v and if the if the required is the work done so w your charge will be transferred so they will be they will be multiplied by each other so uh, voltage or the potential difference times the charge so these are the manipulation of these formulas okay so that is for problem number one. Now let's proceed to problem number two. Okay. So the current in an electric lamp is 5 amperes. So what quality of electric flows towards the filament? So let's check if the... Uh, so we have a some given that is eliminated. So, uh, so that is not... 
um, put in the problem in six minutes okay so because I have I after reading the problem I noticed that we have uh, the given is a little bit uh, lacking okay so we have the current in the electric lamp is 5 amperes what quality of electricity flows towards the filament in six minutes okay so let's write our solution okay so if you are wondering why I I was not using the calculator for in the last problem because it's very easy 10 over 5 is equal to 2 so there's no need for us to calculate okay so going back to this problem so our given our current is our current is 5 amperes and we have our time is equal to 6 minutes okay then we are going to find the quality of electricity flow so that will be the charge so what is the charge so that's the quality of electricity flow so our charge is equal to the unknown okay so we have the formula that we are, that also been discussed on the last video so that is i is equal to q over t so we are going to find q so q so we will just transpose this t here so we could end up as q is equal to i times t and this will be the formula that we are going to use in order to solve for the charge now we all we need also to remember that during the previous topic the the unit for current is amperes and the unit for time is seconds now if you are going to go back to our given so the current is in amperes but the the time is in minutes so what does it mean so we need to convert minutes into seconds so let's convert so 60 minutes so we could have um we, 60 seconds is equivalent to how many minutes okay so this is basically unit conversion we could cancel this one and cancel this one so we will have 60 times 60 over 1 so that is so 60 times 60 so we we'll just use our calculator so that our calculator will make an appearance with in this video so that is 360 so 360 seconds so for those of you who does not know how to convert units so i will also like i said from the second video i will um have a sh another video which pertains about unit conversion okay so we can now substitute our given to the formula so we have q is equal to five that is our current that is our i times our time which is converted now into 360 seconds so we will have 36 uh, okay okay so let's just for 5 times 360 so we will have our charge is equivalent to 1800 colon and this is now our answer okay so this formula also is very important so especially when uh, the given is involved uh, involved amperes or current and time and we are going to get the charge you can also have the given is charge and the time and so the required must be the current and you have also the current and the charge is given so you will be um, going to calculate uh, calculate the time so the most things to remember especially when dealing with problems is that you must always remember the units so like for this one the given is minutes but for the for the formula that we are that we discussed in the previous video 
the unit for time must be in seconds. So you must convert those uh, those units accordingly. Okay, so let's proceed to problem number three. Okay, so problem number three. Okay, so the substation bus bar is made up of two inches, inches round copper uh, bars, 20 feet long. So what is the resistance of each bar if the resistivity is 1.724 times 10 to the power of negative 6 ohms okay so that will be our um, problem okay so so this problem involves the resistance in a bus bar or the resistance in a conductor so let's try to use this color so solution so the we we'll just have the vibration. So, the bus bar is made up of 2 inches round bus bar. So, the 2 inches must be the diameter of the bus bar. 2 inches. And the length of the bus bar is equal to 20 feet. Oops, it's 20 feet. Then we have the resistivity, which is equal to, so we have a scientific notation here, 1.724 times 10 to the power of negative 6 ohm centimeter. Okay. So... But solving the resistance of a conductor or a wire, so we'll be using the formula R plus. Okay, so that is a shortcut for the formula R. Okay, R is equal to rho L over A. So what is now our rho? What is our L and what is our A? So, basically, in a given, we have our L as 20 feet and our rho is 1.724 times 10 to the power of negative 6 ohm centimeter. So, first, we must investigate the unit. So, our resistivity is ohm centimeter. So, this is constant and our length is 20 feet and our diameter is uh, in inches. So, we must convert our unit so that we will have a uniform unit. Okay, so how are we going to do that? So, because our rho or our resistivity is constant, so we need to convert our units um, uniform to this constant. So, we must convert 20 feet into feet and 2 inches into uh, centimeter. So, both of these ones must be converted into centimeter. So, how do we do that? So, we know that, so we must first convert our, which is the good one to be converted first. So, we will convert first our diameter. Diameter is equal to the to 2 inches. And we know that, um, we know that 1 inch is how many centimeters? So this would be 2.54 centimeter okay so this will be equal to so let's have our calculator so that will be 2 times 2.54 because this will be cancelled and this will be cancelled so by the way this is 1 okay so we have 2 times 2.54 so we have 5.08 so 5.08 centimeter next we will be converting the length so we we'll use green so length uh, not green because that is the for the solution okay so we have length is equal to 20 feet so we we'll convert feet into centimeter so we know that uh, 12 inches is equivalent to one foot so one foot times 
So, convert now inches to centimeters. So, from the uh, conversion factor above, so we have 2.54 centimeter over 1 inch. Okay? So, cancel the inches, cancel the feet, and you will be left with the unit centimeter. So, that will be 20 times 12 times 2.54. So, centimeter. Okay? So, 20 times 12 times 2.54. So, this is equal to 609.6 centimeter. So, 609.6 centimeter. Okay. So, our units now are all uniform. So, let's check if we can now use the formula. So, we have the row in centimeter. We have the length in centimeter. And the area is not given. But we, ha but we, are, but we have the diameter. So, because our, um, our given bus bar is round, so, in order to solve the area, the cross-sectional area, so the area must be a circle. So, we know that the formula for the area of the circle is pi sorry, d squared over 4. So, we have now our diameter here. So, we just... Substitute that one. So, pi times 5.08 so centimeter squared over 4. So, we will use our trusty calculator. So, if you are using this one, so this is the fraction because this is a fraction. So, shift, so you can have the pi shift times 10 to the x times, so you can copy exactly the formula of 5.08, so squared over 4, so you will have 20.27, so we'll just round this one to the two decimal places, okay, 20. Point twenty seven square centimeter. So that is area. So because this unit also will be squared, so that is square centimeter. So that is the unit for the area. So we have centimeter, centimeter, and centimeter. Now we could use our we can now use our formula to solve for the resistance. So we have one point seven. 24 times 10 to the power of negative 6 then we have the length which is 609.6 this in centimeter so all over 20.67 so, the automatic thing we done will be ohm or we could have, if we want to have the unit analysis of this one, so we'll just write the, this one. For the resistivity, the row that is ohm centimeter, then you will multiply that one with the length which is in centimeter. Then, you divide that one with the unit for area which is square centimeter so you have two centimeter over two centimeters so that will be cancelled so you will end up with ohms okay so we will now call upon our mighty calculator so let's just copy this one all of this one so 1 1.724 times 10 so this is times 10 to the power of negative 6 so it is safe to have this one with close parentheses um, 
Then you have six zero nine point six all over twenty point sixty seven, and you will have an answer of five point zero eight. So five point zero eight times ten to the power of negative five. So we'll have five point zero eight times 10 to the power of negative 5 ohms and that and that will be your answer okay so we have so like i said the um the units must be uniform so that we can apply re readily our formula so we, we will divide this um, session into um, maybe four videos or five. So as of now, this is the end of the first video. So the next problems will also have uh, will be will be also uh, examples of the previous topic, and I hope you understand on the first three problems that we are able to solve. So. You can also uh, comment below for um, any questions that you want to ask me or any clarifications. And as always, thank you for uh, watching.